I spend most of my time servicing signs and lights for major uh, companies uh, through the Carolinas and Georgia. And while many see their Copart purchases as a business, others see a canvas for creativity. Me, I love to paint, I love to airbrush, I love to look at the finished product, I also love the reaction. This is me expressing how I feel to the world. We've learned Copart customers have many ways to show their personalities, whether it's sipping up a rock crawler in Charleston or in a Missouri garage. The motorcycle is something that is a way to express yourself. Sometimes builders' families benefit. Turned out great. My wife used to drive to work, so it's been a good car for us. While in Colorado, a whole community is better off because of a Copart trailer ready to roll to disaster scenes. This is it. This is our dream uh, that finally has come true. We visited racers across the country, all of whom rely on Copart to keep them running and fast. We went through four Copart donor cars to get enough parts to build what we needed to. This car actually came from Copart auction and it was a recovered theft. And we've shown you what happens with Copart purchases ready to be repurposed. Whether it's a forest of parts in Maine or a warehouse of plates in Pittsburgh. It makes you feel good knowing that they're not going to be in a landfill. They're actually going to be worn and appreciated by somebody that loves cars. And we've all learned together that repurposing parts and recycling what can't be used again has truly become a smashing success. We hope this old in seconds has shown you that when you think a car or a bike or a four-wheeler is beyond repair, chances are it still has some life in it. And there are parts dealers across the country that can help you with all those builds. So keep scouring Copart for your next big project. And remember, winning is awesome. That makes me a little weepy-eyed. Well, here's something that'll cheer you up, Greg. Sales that are coming up later today. Ah, on the clock presented by DonateCar.com. Good call. I feel better already. We start off in Baton Rouge where this 2008 Pontiac Solstice GXP goes on the block at the top of the hour. This Roadster convertible has only normal wear with a 2.0 liter inline four Ecotec engine turbocharged. Its rear wheel drive will seat two and has an ACV of almost 20 G's. What more could you ask for? I don't know. In Helen, Montana, this 2004 Potomac Travel Trailer. Now this pull camper has rollover damage with an ACV of 23 and a half thousand, but the repair cost is just under 30. So if you're looking for a great way to spend the summer, both fixing it up and getting it out on the road, get on this camper. Well, if a rolled over camper isn't quite your style, maybe this 2005 Rolls Royce Phantom is. This black beauty goes on the block at noon today in Rancho Cucamonga, California. Oh. This four door aluminum body sedan has only 17,000 miles on it. With a clean title and normal wear, it has all the bells and whistles from the wood grain to the V12, and it can be yours today. We will be back right after the break on Copart Sold in Seconds. Welcome back, Jamie. What do you have for us? Going well, I found wide. another pickup truck in Indianapolis. Going this wide. one, though, Going 2001 wide. Ford F-150. It is Going Truck wide. Tuesday Going on Copart.com. Wow, very nice. Yes. It is. And those Ford F-150s are just hot items running dry verification. I think it's got the 5.4 liter, too. Pretty strong. This has a little bit of front end damage. Going this one's going to going keep going. Wide. That's our last live look of the day. But even when we aren't here, you can follow going the wide. action at Copart.com's member area. And here's a couple of European whips that are coming up later this week. Here's a sneak peek at a couple of cars that are waiting around the world. In El Paso, Texas, on the 28th, the 2009 Mercedes-Benz S550 Formatic with normal wear goes up. This all-wheel drive luxury rig is white with tan interior, 5.5 liter V8 putting out 382 horsepower, and it only has just over 3,000 miles on it. This could be one great value for someone who wants to roll fat in a luxury whip. Go to Copart.com and keep an eye on it. This auction should be fun. Well, this car would have been fun. It's a 2009 Lamborghini Murcielago. If it wasn't sideswiped, it's ACV $333,000. This high-performance two-door has airbag deployment and a Louisiana salvage title, but it also has the Lambo 6-liter V12 that'll get 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds with Copart's engine start program. It's up for auction tomorrow at noon in New Orleans. Well, whoever claims the bins looks like they should just be able to turn the key and go. The Lambo, on the other hand, yeah, good luck. But hey, it is a Lamborghini. Yeah, and here are a couple of vehicles that are coming up next Tuesday at noon east. It's a little thing we like to call next week's sales. Pretty clever, huh? Yeah, this is cool. A 2003 Ford Mustang Cobra. Now, this one has tons of mods, and the picture tells you all about it. Supercharged bypass. Uh, it's got cool air intake, pulley mods, 25 in all. Net power to torque output of 110 horsepower and 170 foot-pounds of torque over stock. This is hot, hot, hot. 2003 Mustang in China Grove, North Carolina. 
but also search for this 2010 Volvo XC90 3.2. This one, well, it's purely for parts now. There are lots of good ones to pick from, though. Like the interior, it's still perfect. The 3.2 liter 6 is also up for grabs with only 6,500 miles on it. The whole package is available on June 1st at noon in Salisbury, Maryland. And that is all we have. Thank you for joining us and learning all about Copart over the last 13 weeks. We certainly had fun and keep an eye on that counter 2306. Man, we are rolling them here on Copart Sold in Seconds. Thanks for joining us. I'm Greg. That's Jamie. We're out. See ya. Yeah.